Hey, how's it guys? In this Excel tutorial, I'll show you how to create a graph with cluster bar and the stock bar graphs together. All right, so here's the chart that we'll be creating in this exercise. If we look at the graph, inside the graph, we have two different types of chart. This one is a regular cluster bar chart, and this one is a stock bar chart. And my main goal here is to basically put these two different types of chart together to give the visual presentation a little bit more information to the users. All right, so here let's go into the chart tab. And here's the, uh, the screenshot. Actually, let me delete the screenshot. And here's my data set to create the chart. All right, so if we look at the table, we have three columns, basically. Actually, three data columns, and this one is the label. If we look at the users column, the numbers are made up of uh, repeat users plus new users. So these two columns are going to be the uh, series I'm going to use to create the stock bar graph. And the users column are going to contain the data points to make out the uh, cluster bar graph. All right, so here, uh, the first thing I want to do, I want to insert a new column next to the users column. And I'll name the column spacer. And the reason I need to insert a blank column, kind of like a, a placeholder, is because if you attempt to uh, simply grab the uh, the charts using um, this data set, then the chart is going to uh, treat these two columns separately. And which I'll show you in a second. But for now, let me put the uh, column back. Spacer. Now I'm going to highlight the table and go to insert. Then I want to uh, choose my chart type as combo. Now here we can choose uh, what chart type do you want to assign to each data series. I know for the users column, it's going to be cluster column. And for spaces, it's going to be the same uh, chart type as the users uh, column. And for repeat users and new users, I know these two are going to be a uh, stack bar graph. So I'm going to choose stack column. And for the stack column graph, I'm going to check the secondary axis. And this one too. All right, so if we look at the uh, series data type, these two are going to be the, uh, it looks like Excel changed the uh, chart type for these two uh, series. And I'll put that back. If we look at the chart type, so these two are going to be cluster and these two are going to be star column. Now I'll click on OK. I'm going to uh, increase the window size a little bit. And first I'm going to delete the chart title. And this one's optional. You can uh, leave the chart title if you want to. But for demonstration purpose, I'm going to make a little bit extra room to present the bars. And also delete the secondary axis because I know the uh, axis labels are going to be the same. All right, so here, uh, if we look at uh, uh, the bars, here's the primary bar, and these two are the secondary bars. All right, so I'm going to select the uh, primary bar, which is the cluster bar, right click, format data series. Now I want to change the uh, series overlap value to minus 100% for the uh, primary bar. And I'll change the gap width to 0%. And I'll basically shift the uh, primary bar to the left. And at this point, you have two uh, different types of uh, bar graphs in the same window. And I see that there's a little space, so I'm going to select the uh, secondary bar. And I'll adjust the gap width to uh, make the space. Actually, I sense overlap. Yeah, so here, noticing that here, if I try to change the series overlap value, and it's going to uh, shift the uh, bar direction to left and right. But here, let me put this back. Oh, so the value needs to be a little bit lower. All right, so I'll set this to 200. I think 200 should be good. 
All right, so tarantula is pretty good. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, decrease the plot area. And I'll move the legend to the top. And I'll delete the space uh, legend key. All right, so this is going to be something I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.